everyone, it's Allie here today, and I will be reviewing the GHD Helios hair dryer in white. Also, just noting this is not sponsored. I wish it was. Um, I actually made a review video, but the footage got glitched, so it's unusable, and it sucks. I have to re-record this. Uh, I've been drying my hair out for like hair drying it for maybe like an hour or so because I had to do other things. Uh, it's still wet. My hair is really thick and I timed it in the other video how long that it took to dry with this hair dryer and it took about seven minutes max. So that's not bad at all. Um, and let's talk about the price of this first. I know GHD hair dryers are probably one of the most expensive out of all hair dryers and I'm gonna tell you I have always had like hair dryers that were already purchased like my parents would get um, when I was living with my parents they got like a cheap one I think it was like either Revlon or Conair something like that and then when I lived in the UK I think I got um maybe it was called Tony and something I got a really inexpensive one I think it was like about 20 pounds 15 to 20 pounds and this one um, in the US, I know this costs a lot more and I was really surprised um, considering that I live in Norway now and I thought this would be more expensive. So this was 20% off on Blicker, no, and they're not sponsoring me. I wish they would be sponsoring me, but I guess uh, I'm not good enough. <laughs> anyway, it was 20% off and I got at... Uh, 1,512 kroner, which is about 151 USD, give or take. Um, and the price without the 20% off is 1,890 kroner, which is about 189 USD, give or take. And you get free shipping, that's including tax or VAT. And on Amazon, which I thought was crazy, um, it's even more expensive. It's 249 USD for this. I don't know about shipping. It could be free for most people, but I know in a lot of states you get taxed on stuff, especially in New York. I I I, ugh, I, I got so jealous of my friends who lived in other states. They wouldn't get taxed on because I guess the city didn't really make any rules, but in New York they made a rule so you know, local um, stores can compete with online stores getting, you know, not having that tax would help them, but now that everything gets taxed online when you buy things shipped to New York. Anyway, this is a lot cheaper and I wanted to invest in something expensive for once. Like if I turn it on, this is the normal turn on. So it just turns on, has, it has no heat, has nothing whatsoever. It just blows out air and it has three settings. Uh, which I'll try it on in a bit once I plug it in. Um, and then there's heat settings, there's three heat settings. And then there is a trigger button, which has this um, snowflake icon, which I am assuming is to make it very chilly. And it comes with this nozzle. So you can take it on and off, but you would not want to touch it once you've been using the product on the heat setting. So I will be plugging it in, and I had to get a new hair dryer because the European plug is different from the UK plugs, and of course American plugs. And if you want, you can try using converters, but I'm really scared about converters. And I like that this has a very cute strap, so you can just hang this up wherever you want. And we will give it a go. Just mentioned, I really like the I really like the material that it's made out of. It's very light for me uh, compared to other hair dryers, and I really like the plastic. Whatever this plastic is made of, it feels really sturdy. Feels like it's gonna last me for quite a while, and I've, obviously, I love the way it's designed. Love it. And test out each button for you. So this. <laughs> Just normal air. Faster. And then super fast. And then, so these are just two, two options of how fast your But 
no heat, no nothing. It's just blowing wind. We're gonna add a little I really like the low temperature setting for the heat. If you are afraid of damaging your hair, I like using high temperature because obviously it'll be blow drying your hair and it'll go way faster. And then I will test out this trigger button right now. difference about this button if anybody knows what this does I thought it's, I don't know do we think it make it colder I have no clue but that button is there I will now blow dry my hair all right before we start that I am going to time it and just keep in mind my hair has been air drying for a bit so it's not completely wet and I will time it but initially when I made the video that last video <laughs> it took seven minutes so we're gonna do a stopwatch so I have it here I will press the button once we get everything done um, and I'll be using this PhD size three um, ceramic brush this I think cost about oof, let me see I don't remember it was 20, I think it was like 20% off as well. Um, this cost 207 kroner, which is 20 USD, give or take.
have stopped it for now. It says three minutes and 16 minutes. But remember, my hair was air drying for an hour already, but my hair is super thick. Everything feels pretty much dry, um, except for maybe this area. It feels a little wet, slightly wet. But you can see most of my hair is super different from before and after. My hair is super straight. And the one thing I noticed is if I don't um, blow out my hair, my hair gets super poofy and it's quick to get tangled when I sleep. I notice if I blow out my hair, um, it typically stays in this form. Even if I fall asleep, I'll wake up and my hair is pretty much straight, which is amazing. Instead of getting tangled and looking like a monster in the morning. <laughs> anyway, I really recommend getting this if you are able to save for one or if you are looking for a new hair dryer really really like this although I don't know about traveling with this I wouldn't want to travel with anything this big in my luggage I would probably invest in a smaller version or a cheaper brand I am very curious about their travel size one I've seen one I don't know how good it is but I think usually if you were traveling you would bring something less expensive just in case if it breaks in the luggage or um, if your luggage gets lost you wouldn't be upset about it but I'm really happy about this investment super happy um, comment down below if you guys have used GHD products I know this is the creme de la creme for hair products at least in my opinion and I'm glad I lost the switch on one mm.